hello friends uh, good day so uh, just for today's video uh, this will be uh, we, we i just create i'm trying to demo how i we can create a dingan uh, so dingan helps us to write a pro poem so we can see how fun it is to interact and create an assistant with uh, ease so first uh, this is a windows uh, system so i have enabled a wsl the steps are like uh, you uh, you have the library which is Olama. Uh, using Olama, uh, I have installed Olama in my Linux distribution within Windows. Then I execute this Olama serve. Then I create, you can create a um, file which is model file similar to Docker files. You can create a model file and you can create a master prompt uh, saying that what kind of uh, assistant what it, what uh, how it has to interact you can create a model file and create a assistant out of that file then you can run this i have done it because as it takes time i have done it already uh, so uh, the olama service running here it is ready to uh, so i have created the ticket now let's just try to run it uh, so I'm trying to run this. So once you run it, the next uh, task is you have you can interact. But uh, the, uh, in today's thing, what I have I'm trying to uh, show you is uh, without uh, interacting with the CLI, how this can be used in writing um, or creating APIs or um, programs in your uh, application to enhance your applications using AI. So once it takes time, so let's uh, see a, a sample how this is going to come up. So this is a polyglot a notebook. Uh, polyglot notebook, the advantage is uh, you can create a, 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 a programs using C Sharp or you can use Python. This is an innovative um, approach uh, which Microsoft has uh, come up. So I'm uh, so I'm trying to install the Olama Sharp, which is a connector, um, a group like called the uh, Code Place. They have created this uh, based uh, uh, during a hackathon uh, uh, hosted by Semantic Kernel. They have come up with an innovative uh, application. So during their application, uh, it they found that it is uh, taking huge uh, like large amount of money when interacting with open ai so what they did is they hosted they were trying to connect this semantic kernel with a locally hosted llm and uh, in olama you can uh, create any kind of interact with any kind of llms like uh, uh, llama uh, or you can uh, try out other uh, open source model so once you install the uh, olama sharp the next is you have to uh, show your uh, uh, Olama this uh, endpoint. So right now it is 61627. I think I have to change here. Uh, let's see if there is any errors. Let's see what are whether it is trying. It's able to interact with the local server. So it has the models here. Uh, okay. Let's uh, display this here. It got two models. Uh, so uh, I have created the Dingen here uh, from a file, and uh, while creating Dingen, I it is uh, pulling uh, from Llama. So I have uh, created a master set of um, instructions uh, how this Dingen has to uh, form the. Uh, how when it interacts with the user how it has to form the response so let's create a prompt write a uh, write a, a poem about uh, uh, say uh, elephant so this uh, uh, is trying to interact with our uh, model let's see whether we get a poem or not so here, if you see here, uh, the uh, from the semantic kernel using a Olama connector, we are trying to interact and uh, create applications. So you could see it's uh, uh, it's trying to write the poem. So meanwhile, let's check here. So okay, let's uh, check out our workflow. 
So we install Olama in our Linux distribution. We ran uh, using Olama serve. We created an assistant called Dingan. And using semantic kernel, uh, we create, uh, we added a Olama uh, sharp connector, which interacts with this. So we cannot directly write a uh, R So you need to have a, a connector. The connector interacts with, uh, so you are saying that I need to write a poem about an elephant. So now Dingen has some instructions. Uh, we will see what are the instructions uh, that Dingen. Uh, so we will see the output. So he, here you see that an elephant also brand is a sight to see in this land with wrinkled skin and dust so bright. It robes the savanna with grace tonight. So uh, this is how you can interact with the locally hosted. Um, uh, last language models using semantic kernel. Also beautiful. So let's exit and see what did I do in the uh, model file. So these are some of the ex experiments that I um, I was trying to do so to, so that uh, how we can enhance our .NET application or other web or mobile applications using uh, AI, uh, mostly the NLP part, the large language models. Here you could see that I created a Dingen using uh, Llama 2 model and uh, for accuracy I have set the temperatures for one. You can be more creative if you set it more than one. Uh, so I created a master prompt. So the Dingen is an AI assistant who helps people find information. So this is a it's a prompt engineering. You are taming uh, the large language models. Uh, so it's like uh, the best practices when you interact. Uh, so I'm not going into detail. So this is a, how you create a assistant from a file using Olama. The next part of this video is about today. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, how we can interact with uh, large language models and how we can create as an agent using Microsoft uh, Semantic Kernel. Uh, it's about uh, the agents. How uh, at the time of this video there is uh, there is code, but there is no running repo. Like if you see in other uh, uh, others, you could see there is a repo here, but here in this particular part. Uh, there is a roadmap saying that after semantic kernel version one, uh, you can create fully autonomous agents. So uh, this blog is mainly uh, how, what are the different components of an agent. So you can have plugins. I have created a plugin to send an email, and you can have planners. Uh, so in this uh, demo, um, a, a, uh, a uh, secretary is trying to send an email to her boss saying that uh, the sales are going well but one of the model is not performing good so we will see like how the assistant help us to send a mail to uh, her sales manager and personas personas like you can create an architect you can create a developer you can create a sales so you can add those uh, um, these three components using semantic kernels and interact with the old, uh, llms so here I, I will be using the open AI uh, LLM, not the local, uh, so that uh, you can understand that uh, even if you have an open AI, which is very, very cheap, just follow along with this code. Uh, so the first part is uh, to create a planner. Uh, so we will get into the code. So I just created a planner. What this does is uh, it is trying to tame the LLM to write an email with a, to a certain participants with a topic uh, and uh, uh, return that content to the uh, user. So in order to run this, so I have created the planner, I created a plugin. The plugin is uh, actually uh, sending that email to a set of participants. So uh, this is the beauty of uh, semantic kernel. It is not only a chat, uh, you are trying to enhance your web application by adding some AI ideas uh, into it. So in this case, I'm creating a fully or an autonomous agent for a salesperson so that he can send emails. So sending email is a task and it is helping to formalize that email. Let's see that in action. Uh, 
uh, with it with further attitude also there is an interesting suppose you are not able to understand this piece 